Hi, my name is Gina Jemskal and welcome to a tour of some of the architect homes added into Sims Free Play around about the 10th of October 2016. There are 15 new homes and there are 10 simoleon homes which we have already taken a look at in another video. I will link it down below and on the screen now. And there are also two LP homes and three SP homes and those are the ones we're going to take a little tour of today in today's video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. This is 61 LPs. I am showing you all these houses on a premium lot. If you build them on a standard size lot, if they can be built like this one can be built on a standard size lot, it will be cheaper than what I am showing you. So let's see if we've got anything rare or worth loads of LPs or SPs or anything in this house. Let's take a little look. Mm, we've got a nice little lounge area there. Uh, what have we got? A bedroom through here. Nothing so far. An empty room over here. No, there doesn't seem to be anything. We've got some romantic lights out there in the back. Is this a one floor? This is only a one floor and it has got nothing particularly in it that is worth any LPs, SPs or anything like that. Definitely not worth the LPs in my opinion. This centennial statue was a, pri a limited time prize from one of the quests, I'm pretty sure. But, I mean, he's not the nicest looking thing in the world. <laughs> Who really wants him? I'm not sure whether he's worth building this house for. Second LP home, again, can be built on a standard size lot, so you can get it cheaper than this, but this is 134 LP. Ooh, we've got a haunted door here. Lots of black furniture in this one. We've got a pool outside. It doesn't look to me as though we've got anything rare, though, so far. Lots of designer kitchen stuff. It's got a second story, so let's go ahead and take a little look upstairs. Another haunt, lots of haunted doors actually. We've got one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, but no LP items or rare items or anything like that really. No, it's a nice house, but oh, we got another floor. Hang on, I missed that. Another floor going up, and oh, we got a nice little library over here. Look at this, I like this room. The vanity over here, and I think I spotted, yes, I did spot an arcade machine. So if you haven't yet got the arcade machine, this might be worth building for that. Have we got another floor, or is that, oh yeah, we have got another floor, but there's not really anything up here. Just a little dance area, and a balcony. Wow, that house is much bigger than I originally first thought it was. It's a nice build, actually. It looks quite nice, when is it uh, all built up with its roof. I like that build, but nothing particularly in it other than the arcade machine. So this is the first of our three SP homes, and this is 109 SP. Again, this can be built on a standard size lot. Looks like we've got a basement. Yes, we have. And two floors. Let's take a look. So through the entranceway, we have this nice white sofa. Anything rare? Nothing. Oh, we've got a laundry room. I love little laundry rooms. Some people put those in. Um, anything outside? Nothing rare outside particularly. Let's take a little look downstairs in the basement. We've got a make out couch there. Nice little basement. I like this build. It's got a Sonicare sink there if you missed out on those. A nice little basement. And then if we go upstairs, we have a kids bedroom here. I'm sure some of this stuff must be LP, is it? I'm not entirely sure. I can't quite remember. Maybe the bed? I don't think it is actually, I think that might be simoleons now I can think of it. I can't remember. Uh, we've got a bathroom there, baby's room, and we have parents' room over here. Again, nothing nothing rare in this build, it's a nice little build, but not worth the SP in my opinion. It has got a few of the SP doors. Has it got any of the windows? No, it's not got any of the SP windows, it's got some of the doors though. This is a second SP home and this is a premium size lot house, 172 SP. Hopefully there will be something in this because I've been quite disappointed so far. Oh look, big basement. Oh, right, this is quite a big house. Yeah, I've been quite disappointed with the architect homes in this update. So hopefully we will get some good stuff here. Mm, we have the designer kitchen. A bedroom over here with nothing, nothing rare in it. Um, I like how, hang on, let me have a little look at how it looks. It's 
nice, nicely designed. I like it. But that is not what it's about with these architect homes, is it? It's about what we can get that's rare or limited edition or not available in the game anymore, things like that. For a duck pond, that's 14 SP, I think. Volleyball net, that is, what was it? It was a limited time prize from something, I'm pretty sure. It's got the most expensive dog kennel, which I think is LP to buy. Let's take a little look downstairs in the basement first off. And we've got kind of like a whole, wow, it's really big, this basement. So we have another little kitchen area, bedroom. No limited items so far. It's nicely done though. Look at this big long corridor all the way to this back room over here. Oh, it's got a little fridge in this lounge area. Boiler there. Wow, it's quite complicated this uh, this build. No rare items in the basement though. Let's go ahead and take a little look upstairs. And um, doesn't look like there is anything rare upstairs. I think these recliners are LP, a couple of LP each maybe. I have an empty room there, I'm not quite sure what that's about. And then upstairs, a massive balcony area with the romantic swing and some of the romantic lights. Nothing particularly rare, nothing really worth 172 Sim, um, not simoleon, sorry, uh, social points. And this is our last house. This can be built on a standard size lot, so it can be built cheaper than 241 SP. But we have a basement, floor one and floor two, or floor three. Oh, okay, so we've got quite a few floors on this one. We've got lots of the nice plants outside. I love those plants. And we have lots of urban furniture in the kitchen. And then through... Here is this LP for that fireplace, possibly. We have a Sonic Air uh, sink again, and outside there is nothing rare outside, but we have a couple of bedrooms on this first floor. A nice little teen boy's bedroom there, maybe. And oh, this is a room with a crib and like maybe a shared bedroom between a baby and a sister. I think that's SP, LP maybe for that desk. Oh, and we have all the musical instruments over here that you need for Teen Idol. Let's go, let's go downstairs into the basement first of all. Oh, we've got a nice lounge area. We have some of these nice um, sofas. I really like these sofas. Are they urban sofas? I feel like they're urban sofas and the urban bookshelf. What else do we have? Oh, a little gym area. It's an SP door there, some spa doors as well. Ooh, this is a nice little, I like this build. Our little woodworking room here with the boiler in. Oh, and we have another arcade machine there. And that fridge is LP to buy. I can't remember how many, but I'm pretty sure it's LP to buy. This is nice. I like how the lounge has got like little different areas. Got like the big, huge living area. Let's go up to the next floor, the second floor. It's got some more of these sofas and chairs. And we have a four poster bed from the Romantic Collection. Urban bed as well over here. A few of the, and a few of the urban beds. Uh, side table things there with the plants on and what else do we have is this oh what's this room here like um oh, this is cool it's like a laundry room like it but with i don't really know like a, you know like a dressmaker's type of room there nice um and then a little study here no real rare items though let's go up to the next floor and we have oh what do we have? A massive like master suite here with bathroom and walk-in wardrobe. That looks nice. And one of these nice sofas. I love, th love these sofas as well. A couple of SP doors. Nothing particularly rare or anything in that house either, to be honest. 
So there you go, that is a little look at the five LP and SP architect homes. I don't think, to be honest, I will be building any of them. There is nothing in them that I am requiring or I've missed out on in the game. Let me know if there is anything that you have seen in the houses that you know that you've missed out on or that you want to have in your town that you haven't got. On a whole, I have to say I am reasonably disappointed with the whole collection of architect homes this time. There were some good builds in there. I'm not knocking the builds whatsoever, but I think most of us kind of we want to build the architect homes because they have rare items in that we didn't get in our game. So yeah, I mean, they were right builds, but I definitely won't be building any this time. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed taking a little tour around the homes, and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!